Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel and welcome back to Age of Empires 4 and we're playing as the Delhi this week and so I love this Sev, they're so good the fact that they don't need to use gold is makes my life a lot easier <laughs> makes it a lot easier to manage I can tell you that right now so what we're going to do is we're going to show you the game we're going to show you the build order and then we're going to show you what happens in the game and I think this game was fantastic so you'll really enjoy this so we've got five guys going straight onto the wood we're going to then queue up a meal, queue up a house, queue up a mosque. These guys, once they've finished with their wood, we're going to get onto the mosque. And then everybody else is just going to cram onto food. And we're just going to keep rallying onto food for the foreseeable future until we get to that age up. Now, gold is an interesting one. We're going to have to get three on the gold to start with. Um, and that is just because we need to age up. Apart from that, we don't really need the gold ever, ever again. And we definitely don't need to mine it. Um, because from then on we're going to be using scholars to get our gold. Now, I'm put it on the map so that we see what exactly what I see and how, I, how I'm looking at this map. Now, this is the Four Lakes map. I know this map by, by the back of my hand, so I know for a fact that my enemy is going to be here in this bottom, like, bottom middle corner. So I know I don't need to scout him just yet. I, I probably should have scoured him uh, just to see what troops he's making, but I wasn't really worried. I have a feeling that this Delhi game is going to be great because... I've got this deli like sieve down to a T already and I've only been playing it for like a week and I know there's obviously places to improve but for me I'm really enjoying this sieve. So we've got our sheep over here, we're off looking for more sheep so I'm kind of going into the middle, round back and then back again, like straight to the middle, back again and then have a look around the edges and we're just going to pick up all those sheep. Now what my plan here is is once age up is done we're then going to try and get into building our barracks and getting out um some troops to kind of get pushing on them so spearmen archers best combination in the game so i'm going to head off until we get to the age up and then we'll see what happens from there so here we are at age up we've got our uh, tower of victory up and we're ready to go with that the scout is just sitting there doing nothing and we're now transitioning onto our uh, food and our wood now I'm going to get quite a few on wood to start with because we need that wood production to be able to build our barracks and our archery range, our blacksmith, that sort of thing. Um, so we're going to get a lot of people on wood to start with, but I'm going to try and balance it as much as I can. So like trying to keep it equal all the way through. And that's so I can then use all these resources. And if I get to a point where I've got too much of a certain resource, I can always balance it out. So for example, if I get a bit more food than I need, then I can just put more on wood and so on and so on. Now I'm getting some towers up here because we are playing against the English and they are going to do a little bit of a, uh, a longbow rush, um, which I'm expecting. I know that's coming, um, so I'm probably a little bit late getting this tower up and I'm probably a little bit late getting my barracks up as well. And they are going to come from this area up the top here and you can probably just about see them in the corner of here just a minute ago. Um, they're about to come in here. As soon as this tower finishes, you'll, you'll be able to see them. There we go. So they're going to come in and they're going to make a little attack. They're going to attack my scholar. That's fine. I'm going to use my scholar now to go and get in my barracks to be able to produce the spearmen. And I'm going to get these guys in there to like obviously kill these guys off. Um, I should do it any second now. Or well, there you go. I didn't lose a villager because I wasn't paying attention that much to it. So there we go. Now I get them in. <laughs> And we're just going to kill them off um, easy peasy. I've got my spearmen here now protecting that area. And I'm going to, because I've got the scholar in there, we've now got eight second spearmen. So we're producing spearmen super quickly. So we're going to chuck them down here. We're going to get attacked again. Like you say, as always with the English, they're going to do their longbow rushes. He hasn't really got enough longbows to really cause me any problems. So we're kind of in an okay position. I'm happy to let him just sit there and shoot my tower, my um, mining camp, which I'm never going to use. And he's probably thinking, ah, I've got him off the gold. Don't need gold. Don't need it. So here we go. So the spearmen are coming in. Um, we're just going to hold there. And when we're ready, we're just going to go and attack him. And he has no idea, like, we're there, to be honest. I don't think. I don't think he's paying attention. I think he's in his base at the moment. But there we go. So that's the end of that. One moment. And then we're going to start and try. And we're going to use these spears to push forward now. Because we've got quite a lot of spears already. We've got all our upgrades coming in. We're going to go to harden spearmen soon. Um, again, these are all free. They just take time. We get an archery range up now and we're going to get a blacksmith up any second. There we go. And that's going to provide us all those technological technological upgrades that we need. And you can see here I'm using all my resources when I get them. <clears throat> so I'm in a good position right now. My opponent is trying to go to castle, as you can see. Well, I have a feeling he's going to castle at this point. Um, 
So here we go, just gonna get a few more units in. We're gonna grab those upgrades. We're gonna start getting some archers out and they're gonna be in a good position. So here we go. So I'm running across the map with this uh, small force. It's not a massive force at the moment, but we are trying to get and just kind of put a bit of harassment onto their base to stop them being able to push their longbows across to us. And there we go, we, we find a couple uh, moving over. So we're just going to deal with them. There are about four over here somewhere that will come back in a second once they realize that I'm coming onto theirs. And we're gonna take them off their gold, so that's good for us. And what we're gonna do is just gonna do a loop now. We're just gonna do a loop around their base and just kind of see what we can find, um, see if there's anybody that we can pick off. Um, but I think we're gonna do all right here for this game because we've now got our map control, which is nice. And here you go, there's the four that are coming to attack us. They won't be able to last long. We're gonna push them straight back to their town center. And that's uh, another win for us. Now, at the same time here, I'm thinking to myself, like, why don't we just wall these guys in? Why don't we just wall them in? Like, why not? Why not wall them in? Like, we've got advantage here. We don't want their longbows to start going across map. So why don't we just wall them in? So I'm gonna build a wall here. <laughs> like, and I, I'd never, I'd never th thought to do this ever before. So, and I'm actually so happy I did it because it was such a good, fun thing to do. There you go, there's the wall. And that's gonna like lock him in. I mean, it's not gonna fully lock him in. We're gonna do that later on. But I thought, why not? Why not? Then we can set up a staging post. I watched a video the other day from Valdemar where he um, where he created loads of archers, ran them through the gate. Obviously, the troops couldn't get through the wall, so he was shooting them from behind the wall. I thought, what a good idea. Let's use that. So here we go. So we just keep running around. We're obviously picking up sheep as we go as well because we've got the scout with us. Um, and we're just gonna see their base. So now we can actually see their base and see what they're doing. And uh, we can just keep running around and uh, just keep having a look. Now, we're getting these walls up pretty quickly as well, because obviously with the Delhi, they have this ability to make walls as units. So that's really good as well. And it's really cool. So we're going to get that up. We've got some um, more buildings going down, some more archery ranges. There we go. More barracks. So we get ourselves prepared. We're also trying to use up as much of our resources as possible. And there we go. We've got our little... Uh, a little gatehouse going up as well. So we know we're in a good position um, and he can't now, he's, if he wants to come to our base, he's got to come through my army or go around. So we're in a real good position. So at this point, he tries to bring out all his Lombos. Um, I lose my scout, not a big deal. Um, and uh, I just started to push him back as far as I can, just keep that pressure on him, stop him from getting out. And uh, I lose uh, quite a few spearmen here, but it's not that big a deal, I've got the archers producing a lot of kills in the background. We've got more guys rallying. Um, so I do just run them back to their town center. I don't want to take a fight under their town center, so I do run back again. Um, let them fire from distance, that's fine. And I push them back to the gate. And I can use the gate now as a defensive thing for me. I can stick my archers behind the gate and then I can fire over the gate. And we can just develop and uh, rebuild over here. <coughs> Now the next thing we're doing is we're going to just keep building more of these walls to keep him in the base as much as we can. So for example, here we go, they're all getting pushed in here, we're getting over here as well. And the next thing we're going to try and do now is we're going to take the scholar out of the barracks and we're going to take these uh, these sacred sites because I'm going to try and go for a sacred victory here. So while I was building this wall over here, I did get attacked by the Lombos. Um, not a great position for my spearmen to be in. Um, he obviously sees this as an opportunity to get through the through the fence. So he starts to build his uh, battering ram. However, I don't know if he's actually realized that I had this massive army coming at him. Um, so yeah, just coming at him with this army, we're going to deal with this pretty easy. Um, obviously, the Lombos get a few shots away, but we push him straight back. And we close that distance between him and the Lombos and makes the Lombos pretty much ineffective at this distance. And then they're just gonna get wiped, absolutely wiped, and uh, we've successfully defeated his push. Um, he's got one minute arms out of this uh, point, um, which are not easy to beat with the units I have, um, but we'll start mixing in some other units when we get to Castle Age, um, which will happen pretty soonish. And there you go, we're starting to get our sacred sites with our scholars. So we're working into a real good position. Now we're gonna to have to fall back here because obviously these men arms are a bit strong. So we're just gonna get all our units back and we're gonna get our archers behind the uh, the walls, which is what we wanna to do to protect obviously our 
our units. So we're just going to redevelop here and uh, capture that last sacred site and get ourselves ready to go for that sacred victory. So we started to get ourselves up to Castle Age. We're building ourselves the compounder, the defender, to get that extra bit of speed. I think I think that's what it does. And if, oh yeah, that's it. Extra bit of building speed and cost. Um, so on for our towers and our buildings, uh, our walls. Sorry, so which is pretty good. So we're building another wall here to effectively finish his closing in. Um, and we're just sitting here now waiting. So we're about to get a, a full raid coming from him in terms of like um, bathroom rams and things like that. So. This could be quite interesting to see in a second. We've got our sacred sites and we're going for that sacred victory. Um, so we're just waiting now for him to uh, come at us. We've also built, um, obviously, our dock here. We're getting our fish. We've got um, plenty, obviously, of production buildings. And here we go. So he's going to come in with the ram. Um, the ram, obviously, is probably the most deadly thing here. We need to take that down, otherwise it will take our wall down. If he takes our wall down, then he's effectively free. But we've got it down really easy. And uh, now we just can deal with those men at arms. We are nearly at castle, so we should be able to start producing our own men at arms soon. And uh, that will help us out a lot against them. And there we go, we've pushed them right back again, straight to their TC. They're gonna have to attack for the TC, but we're gonna not take that fight. We're just gonna sit and defend. Because at the end of the day, we've just got to wait till the end of the minutes, and then we're, we've won the game. So he has to come to us. So we're trying to use all our resources as quick as we can. You can see here I've uh, kind of a bit over on gold and a bit over on uh, wood. So we need to produce some more scholars and we need to produce probably some more production buildings soon enough. We're still getting our upgrades slowly but surely. They do take a long time, four minutes each. So the next battering ram raid comes in. We're going to deal with our battering ram pretty easy this time. We've got plenty of troops. And at this point I decide that it might be wise just to see if we can put even more pressure on by building our own. Which is what I do here. I start building my own battering ram. We've now got our men at arms coming out as you can see. So we're uh, we're looking like we're going to go on the offensive. Which is what we're going to do here. Um, it doesn't quite work out as planned. But it is quite fun nonetheless. So here we go. So we're going to get our battering ram. And we're going to start pushing out into their base. However, we are going to get attacked back here. So this is going to be quite an interesting fight. But as you can see here, we've got our sacred sites. We've got our walls all up. We're in a really good position here. So here we come. He's got horsemen now to try and defend against us. Not really wise at all, to be honest. I know why he's trying to do that, to try and get uh, the archers. But at the end of the day, it's not going to make any difference. We are going to lose in battering rank, unfortunately. But we are pushing him back and defeating his units over and over and over again. And he's nowhere near getting through that gate. So there we go. More horsemen come in to get slaughtered. And it, yeah, it, they were, there really isn't really much for him to do at this point. So, like, I mean, it is what it is. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, don't forget, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So you, when I do put a new video up, you will get notified that, that video is available for more Delhi action this week. And I'm really having a good time. So let me know in the comments as well, guys, what you think about this, what you think you would have done differently. Um, have I missed anything obvious that I should have done? Like, what, what would you have done here? So let me know in the comments below. So we're just finishing off his last, like, kind of group of troops. And he's, at this point, he's pretty much effectively dead and the game is going to be over. Um, unfortunately, he's going to uh, quit before we win the Sacred Victory, which is a shame because we would have liked to get a Sacred Victory, but it is what it is. Um, but we've absolutely decimated him and we've got so many, so many troops. So the game is over. I think what we do now is we do go in one more time here with uh, the Spring Old um, just to deal with any battering rams that might come out. And uh, I think, yeah, <laughs> at this point, when you see that army there and you've got this army, it's not really, not really worth a fight. So here we go. We're about to go in again. Um, get about two minutes to Sacred Victory anyway. So we were pretty much there. There's no way he's going to get to to take down our sacred sites with only these troops. So we, we've effectively won anyway, but it's always fun to try and finish him off. So here we go. We're going to go and clear him out. The minars fall really quickly. And then all his Lombos are just basically fodder for the uh, troops now. There we go, all gone. <laughs> pretty much just wiped them all out. And that, that's it. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, leave a like, subscribe, and comment below, and I will see you on the next one.